Hello everybody, welcome to my how-to video on how to set up your iCamera 2s to your cell phone. This is for the Android OS phones only. So let you know, I'm not, I don't have an iPhone to show you how to do that. It might be a totally different setup or the same setup. You can look on your app store in your on your <clears throat> iPhone to see if they have the same apps or not. Now I doubt it, but you just let you know this is for the Android OS and I'm running a Samsung Galaxy. Okay. There's a few things are going to be required. You're going to need to have there's a couple of apps you're going to need to install on your phone, like IP Cam Viewer Lite and Robo Shadow Network Scanning, just to let you know. Um, and then one thing that you want to make sure your phone is connected to your local home network under your settings of your phone. You go into your settings, do your, like your Wi-Fi networking settings, connections, to make sure you're connected to your modem or router at home. Is your and, uh, <clears throat> make sure the cameras are connected to the same router at home at the same time. You got to be on the same router or device at home and modem. Those cameras got to be connected to that device in order this to work. Just to let you know. Okay. First app we're going to need is the Robo Shadow Network uh, Network Scanner. You want to go to your Google Play Store right here. It's up here. On do that first okay robo shadow a robo shadow network scanner look for that app it's right here go ahead and install that app itself right there make sure you install this app network at point ip port scanner it's robo shadow so you need that app to find out what your ip on your cameras are unless you know it already you, but if you don't know, this will help you find your IP addresses on your cameras. It said, again, it has to be connected to your phone and your cameras have to be connected to the same router or modem you're using the devi that device on. So let you know, it's in order to work. You cannot leave your home with it or anything else. It must be in your house only. You can't go out and just remote in from anywhere outside your home. So let you know for this. It has to be at home only. Okay. Next one we're going to need is IP Camera Viewer. Um, there's a pro version that costs. The pro version, um, they'll give you more than six cameras, but the free version will only allow you up to six cameras right now. This is the free version, the IP Camera Viewer Lite. This will only allow you six cameras on the view. So I only have five, but I still purchased the full version of that. So you need IP Camera Viewer Lite. So I'll let you know. Okay. That's required of this whole thing also so you can view your cameras it will not record your <clears throat> and let you know it will not record any video you can view your cameras at your local home only all right go back to where your pages where your app is apps are installed where you get your app I, app widgets located we'll start with robo shadow and you want to click device scan then click scan device scan tap device scan of course scan They'll scan your network that you're on so you can find your camera's IP address. Okay, you want to look for, it'll show a bunch of everything that's on your network at your home. So you want to look for this, CERCOM Corporation. All your CERCOM Corporation IP addresses. You see this says CERCOM, those are, those are your cameras. If you see those on this scanner, that's your cameras. These are each IP address that it'll show you. This will not be your IP address you see on my screen. Just to let you know, it'll be totally different from mine. This is my custom IP address. So you have to go through the scan, do this to see what IP address for each camera is. And write down each one. And if you already know them, you can go and just don't worry about that. But again, CERCOM Corporation, look for CERCOM Corporation. Those are your security cameras for iCamera 2. Just to let you know. All right, after you got those written down or whatever you got, um, go ahead and back to the page where your IP camera viewer is. You want to go ahead and open that up. And you will get to see no cameras are there. And you have your, I got your plus sign option right here. You want to click that. And you want to go scan camera. Okay. You want to go ahead and you want to go to this up here. Um, you can put camera if you want. That's what you and just make sure you put your IP address there of your camera. And 
and you're not lying, you just ain't your IP address you gotta enter. You gotta make sure you got the one you write down. So you put it in this place. So then after you type in your IP address, go ahead and go ahead and test. Okay, as soon as the scan gets done. Uh, you give you sometimes might give you more choices than this. Um, you just go ahead and just like the top choice usually, and after that, and go ahead and add, and then it'll take you here. So, you can go ahead and type whatever you want for the name of the camera right there of your choice. Let you know, want to, and after that, and go ahead and after you get all that done, just click and just tap save. And all right, and go and just go back here. And you have your camera set up right there. See camera one. You can go back to the main page again here, and it should come up. See, there's my cam one of my cameras now. It's my uh, one of my cameras. So, now uh, if you want to go again, um, you can, so you can add more cameras. There's one easy way to do it too. You want to go back to the. And you want to go back to this again. All right, and go to manage cameras. You're going to want to add it. You don't have to go through that same process again, just to let you know. If you go tap right here and uh, tap clone camera, it'll clone that camera for you. And you can retype the name again for that camera for that. And make sure the IP address you want to put another camera on right there again of the different IP address. If I want to make that another IP address, a different one. I do that like that, and after you do that, put your whatever camera, like camera two. I'll put just an example, camera two. I got camera two, and go back to the page again. You'll have should have both your cameras up. See, just like so. Yeah, I said you're only allowed up to six cameras on the light version. You can get more on the pro version. You purchase it, but you're only allowed up to six cameras. So I know. We only can view these cameras from your local at home at network only. You can't leave the house with you. Want if you leave the house with your phone, you won't be able to view them from anywhere from any other location. You have to be at home to view them. Just to let you know, and it will not record video. This won't record any footage or anything like that. It'll be a live feed. That's it. That's what you see from your cameras at home on your phone. That's that's how that works. So, and anything else? If you got any questions, leave your comments below. Um, I'll try to get to you as soon as possible to answer it. And I hope you find this video helpful and informative. Appreciate it. Please hit, hit that like and subscribe button and bell notification for future videos and content like this. I would appreciate it. It'll help me support my channel and more videos like this. Until next time, everybody, in the next video, peace.